This a game that has been sold out since the start of the season in the driving rainstorm here tonight. A capacity crowd better than 20,000 still making their way into American Airlines Arena in South Florida for the second meeting of the regular season between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Miami Heat. Miami at 50 and 16 and a virtual tie with San Antonio and Phoenix for the best record in the NBA. They won 10 straight, 13 straight at home. They're on a tear while the Lakers are battling to make it to the postseason. Hi, everybody. Marv Albert along with Doug Collins, Steve Kerr, Greg Sager will be working the sidelines. A look at the McDonald's starting lineups up front. A couple of former members of the Miami Heat and two popular former members of the Miami Heat, Lamar Odom and Ron Butler, who heard it from the crowd during the three game introductions. Chris Mim, the center, Chucky Atkins, and Kobe Bryant are in the backcourt. For the Heat, Udonis Haslam, Eddie Jones, Shaquille O'Neal on the front line, Wayne Wade coming off that spectacular game-winning shot against the Knicks the other night, and Damon Jones in the backcourt for the third time this season. Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal will cross paths on the basketball court, and the question is, will there be acknowledgement? Whether sincere or not, following the uh, obvious tense relationship that they had in L.A., and uh, apparently they will not come together. Prior to the Christmas Day game at Staples, there was that brief exchange at the All-Star game in Denver. They stayed away from each other. <laughs> he kind of tried to pump fists yes. together, but very half-heartedly. Well, as Shaq said the other day, what do you expect, a fist fight on the basketball court? <laughs> the officials, Blaine Reichelt, Joe Forte, and Ed Malloy, there was a slight nod to each other. There was a degree of acknowledgement. Well, Marv, Kobe was late getting out, and he walked by, and as Steve said, he tried to reach out, and they tried to acknowledge each other. They missed, but you know what? As time goes on, these guys will grow to respect each other. Maybe never be friends, but they did win three championships together and get to four NBA finals. There's a lot of great memories there with championships, Steve. Yeah, but the problem for Laker fans is had they just figured that out last year, they <laughs> might have won six or seven together before it was all said and done. Miami controlling the opening tip. This is.